guys so I am packing now I've got like a whole load of rubbish on here well it's not rubbish it's stuff that's going in my um case and uh luggage bag um so it's Saturday today and the reason why I am not on camera because I am a mess just like my room is a mess haven't made my bed um yeah so it's Saturday I leave for Korea on Monday morning and I haven't packed yet so I am starting now and I'm going to show you guys what I am packing done kind of um up here i have like um the bits that i'm going to be putting in my oh, see which one's which one. uh, the bits that i'm going to be putting in my luggage bag i've got my rucksack there so i've obviously got my toothbrush toothpaste head scarf um these i actually have to wash before i put them in my suitcase purse um Hair removal cream, I'm going to do my legs before I go because I don't want to bring that with me. My jewellery, plugs, I'm bringing my laptop, Oyster, keys, headphones, obviously passport. Um, inside already I have my, uh, I was about to say health insurance, my, what do you call it, travel insurance and my travel money. Travel money. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure I might put some in my suitcase but I might just carry it all with me um yeah and then in my case so far I have my toiletries so I have like my face wipes sanitary towels oh face uh, cotton wool ah I have to put cotton buds inside um, my roll-on tissues tablets I have like paracetamol hay fever constipation <laughs> you know you never know what will happen I have my vitamins multivitamins I'm here, I have some tea, cream, uh, my trainers. I'm only bringing my vans, my old schools. Obviously, I have to put them in a the bag because they're dirty. I'm only bringing my old schools, um, these white sandals. I actually got them for to wear for work, but I'm just going to bring them with me. And these vans. I don't know if I'm going to bring these vans, but I feel like I should because then I'm just going to be living in two pairs of shoes. But I feel like I'm going to buy when I'm out there. So I'm still contemplating. And I also think my suitcase is going to be overweight. Um, I'm bringing one bag. Um, that's my adapter in there. My toothbrush adapter. Um, and here, obviously, I just have my clothes. Um, I have my hair stuff in here. Like my comb and stuff. My hairs and braids. I did my hair yesterday. So jewellery. Um, house clothes. Pyjamas t-shirts and jeans and stuff like that this is a bag that i made i actually have my um, own little business making stuff like this but i'll probably talk about that in another video don't know why i haven't done it already but yeah and here obviously i just have the stuff that i'm going to be using in the morning so i haven't packed those yet um and then my makeup my makeup brushes have to also go in here just, I've just I'm only packing like the stuff that I wear basically every day and then a few different colors of um, lipstick because I feel like I might buy when I'm out there lipstick wise but um, yeah so I think that's it I already have my um, outfit that I'm going to wear I'm going really casual some leggings uh, black t-shirt black cardigan and that is it I'm going all blacked out um and then I'm going to be wearing white socks and my white air forces over there in the corner and that is basically it
then she kept stopping and going on her phone. Hey guys, um, I am now in Korea. Um, I didn't film a lot yesterday. I'm actually in the apartment now, and it's I think it's like 10 o'clock at night. Um, I was really ill on the um, journey here. That's why I didn't film very much. Like I think I was suffering from either travel sickness or motion sickness. Um, we flew with. Uh, Lufthansa airline and the plane it was like a roller coaster like for the whole I think it was 10 hours or so um, or a little bit less the plane was like non-stop 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 so I was really sick um, and it kept on coming and going like one point I would feel like oh I'm okay and then next time I was just feeling like really bad and then um, Siobhan's suffering from a cold she's actually in the bathroom right now um we're gonna go out and get something to eat um yeah so we basically just after we got to the airport and stuff collected our stuff immigration everything was easy peasy then we got the airport bus to um our station where our apartment is and i'm actually in the apartment now i'm not sure if i said that before um maybe i should take these off Oh, I look a mess. I just washed my face for the first time. Like, oh, it's crazy. Just woke up from a nap as well. Um, yeah, so we're in the apartment now. And yeah, so we got the airport bus. That's what I was saying. Airport bus to our station. And then it was like maybe half an hour. I think we was looking for our apartment. But it was literally across the road. But like the map that the girl had given us, it was a bit, not misleading, but like we thought the bus was coming from this side but it was really coming from this side blah 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 so um we were actually on the wrong side of the road but yeah it was really easy to find and because we don't have not easy to find it was okay to find and because we don't have wi-fi we was like walking along and trying to um see what shop had the free wi-fi like just standing outside so we stood outside starbucks and we moved along and then we looked to shopped around for another shop for um, Wi-Fi and then we um, got some Wi-Fi at a bank and we got our apartment cold and yeah we're in the apartment now um I probably won't film like what it looks like now I'll probably film it um tomorrow as I said we are heading out to get something to eat now um there's like a um what do you call it like a corner shop at the bottom of our apartment that sells like noodles and stuff we actually got some noodles earlier and had um a quick bite to eat before we went to sleep it was like i really wanted to have something warm like soup or something to help me fall asleep because i was not feeling tired but i needed to sleep kind of thing um another thing about why i was feeling sick i think it was anxiety as well because from yesterday like five o'clock in the morning i was up i didn't have to get up until seven i was in so much pain it was crazy and i didn't get back to sleep until like quarter past six and then obviously the alarm went off and stuff like that so it's like i didn't feel excited myself i'm excited but i didn't feel excited if you get what i mean like um the excitement comes and goes but it's like I don't know my inner soul like was excited or whatever um so yeah my stomach was killing me and i've had a headache and stuff like that um but yeah as i keep saying we're gonna head out for something to eat um i am not sure if i'm going to record but we shall see because we're not going far we're just gonna stay like we might just end up going to the corner shop again um but i'm not sure um we shall see but if i don't film any more today i shall see you 
in the next vlog i think tomorrow we might because this is the only day i've planned we might go to um Incidon, which is a traditional like an area you can get see like a lot of traditional stuff and then there's a um palace there i can't remember what palace it's i think it's cool something <laughs> can't remember um and then there's like a hanok village where hanok is like traditional korean houses how they were back in the day and stuff you might go there um but i don't want to do that if it's raining so i'm not too sure but that is the only day i have planned also don the moon market is not too far from where we are so we could also do that and that's like a whole day thing because it's um big and there's like a lot to do and see there um, but yeah, we shall see. So I will see you in the next vlog.